So those of you familiar with me and my channel know that this has been a long time coming. I got your bike. Yo. Hi tower LT size XXL. I went for the the kind of more plain color scheme, but what I've done is I've decaled it up orange to match a lot of the other orange components I'm gonna have. I received this frame about three months ago, back in August, and I've just been patiently waiting for uh, a few sponsors parts to arrive so I could actually build the bike up. And it's just, it's taken a little while, you know, I've been waiting and waiting and uh, yeah, while I was waiting, I thought, I know, I'm gonna get this thing graphicked up. So I went to VNC Motor Care and they printed some custom orange vinyl graphics to cover up the logos. And then I took some of that vinyl back home with me, trimmed it up so I could uh, cover up some of the black areas uh, to make it a nice gray and orange color scheme. It was really hard <laughs> trying to get everything so it lined up perfectly. It took a really long time, but I think it was really worth it because the frame looks rad now, real unique. So I'm gonna have the Conti tires, I'm gonna have the Fox Forks. This is just gonna make it pop a bit more. And of course, Fox Forks, courtesy of Flotec suspension themselves. We've decided to go for the Black Stanchion Performance Elites because the frame actually comes with the Black Performance Elite shock on it. Might as well match it up. So we've got the KS Post, they finally released one in 175mm reach for my long pins. This one's going to be a godsend. Some Conti rubber. We're going uh, Baron and Kaiser. Good solid combo, use it all year round. Also, a bit of orange Palmdale Santa Cruz grips, just to get everything matching. Mud hugger. I'm a huge fan of big mud guards that have full coverage in these things. These things are nice. Got nuke proof supplying their horizon range of components. So we've got stem, we've got some flat pedals and some clip pedals, seat and handlebars. Quality stuff, real like it. The Stans S1 Flow wheels. These are the kind of burly versions of the flows. So they've got eyelets on the rims and they're a little bit stronger because uh, let's face it, I'm a big fella. I put some punishment through those wheels. Then we got a nice stack of Shimano. So here we have some SLX. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. SLX shifter, SLX 32 tooth chain ring, SLX derailleur, chain, 11 to 46 cassette, 203 and 180 mil disc, and some SLX cranks in 170 mil length. Pretty much, I've gone budget, but good performance, because uh, hey, I'm not loaded. I've been very, very lucky in that I do have sponsors that help me to get such a nice bike, like the Santa Cruz frame. But those bits I've got to buy, functional, but still rad. Nice bit of Huck Norris. I'm gonna use the trail one just in the rear tire. Thought I'd give it a try. Other bits and pieces to complete the build. We've got a Hope headset. We have got a one-up components bash ring chain device, little toe peak uh, bottle cage. And I have bought some SRAM Guide RE brakes. These are the e-bike brakes purely because they were really cheap and they're supposed to be powerful. We'll give them a go and see if they last. And I think, and unless I put something somewhere I shouldn't have, I think that was my bike. That's my 2018 trail bike right there. Let's build it. Okay. <laughs> mm. So, before I can build the bike, we've got the boring bit. I've got an Invisi frame kit, which is this protective tape. 
just to stop the bike getting all scratched up. So I got a big sheet of all the pieces. I got a mat with where they all go. I just got a crack on. Some mild soapy water in my handy muck off bottle. Stops the glue sticking before it should. Missed a bit. <laughs> small pieces left for cable rub and not a fun job but a wise job. I think we might be able to stick a few bits on it. Forks? Forks and headset? I think we can do forks. We've got time. Black and grey? Bit boring. Black and orange? Much better. Come on. Easy. <laughs> Careful. It's going to take a while. Oh, I've de I've de stickered them. Um, I didn't trust myself putting the new ones on though, so got Flowtech jewels in the case. Ooh, nice with it all. When I was doing them at World Cups, I had a measuring tape. Just gonna free ball it, eyeball it. Just making sure it's straight. I won't be able to tell. Yeah, but I will. <laughs> mm. Nice. I'll say no. This bike's gonna look so nice. <laughs> what are you smoking at? So that looks really smart. It does, doesn't it? We um orange sticker on the shocker. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just make it. That's exactly what I'm after. They're not shock stickers, but Yeah. So that would work. Something that you might be able to even if you put one on each side or like Hmm. Three fox stickers. I didn't realise you were in here. You were filming this. Aye. Sorry. You're in it now. Totally ruin it. Yeah. So, I reckon that's as far as I'm going to get with the bike today. The guys at Flowtech are trying to clean up and I'm just getting in the way. So, I'm going to scarper. Um, gonna make sure all the busy frame stuff is stuck to the frame properly tonight, get it warm and make sure that's all good. And yeah, we'll get cracking again tomorrow. See you in the next one. Ow, my head!